Now, let's learn about some of the important directories and their functions in Ubuntu. This screenshot shows you the various system directories in Ubuntu. Let's look at some important directories. Bin contains all the user commands in binary format. ETC contains the system configuration files that manage your application's behavior. SBIN contains all the commands used by the administrator. The commands are also known as privilege commands. USR contains the kernel header files required for the kernel operation. There stores all the logs and email messages. Dev contains the names of the connected devices. In Linux, devices are treated like files. Home, it is a folder that saves the user's work. It also saves the user's profile settings. Lib saves the pre-compiled apps frequently used by the OS apps. Proc contains the current state of the kernel and its settings used in current context. Root, it is the home directory for the administrator, whose name is root. The administrator is also known as super user. Directory functions. This demo will help you understand the function of each directory seen in the previous demo. Let's clear the screen using the command clear. Enlarge the screen for better readability. Type the command ls minus l slash. This command lists the files in the long listing format. The directory name is slash. Let's understand each directory one by one. Bin directory contains all the user commands. You can see that the bin directory is inside the USR directory. And this arrow mark indicates that it is a link file. L in the beginning also indicates that it is a link file. The boot directory is where your kernel and bootloader are installed. D in the beginning indicates that it is a directory. CD-ROM is a mount point when you insert your DVD. A mount point is a directory where you can access your role media. Next is the dev folder. Dev stands for device. This contains the name of the devices that are used in the Unix system. For example, a printer cannot be a printer or a hard disk cannot be a hard disk for a Unix system. Unix treats every device as a file. So when it accesses any device, it has to assign it a name. And that name is listed in the dev folder. For example, hard disk in Linux is called SDA. The name of that particular disk now becomes slash dev slash SDA. Next, we have the ETC folder that contains all your system configurations. For example, your password, DNS, DCHP, web server mail server, and other configurations. The home contains the allocated space for a user. For example, you have the user 100 account. It will have its own space allocated for it. If we check the home directory and list the directories using the ls-l command, you can see the user 100 folder. This is called the home directory. If you check the pwd command, you can see that it is present inside the home directory. So, you can change it to user 100 and then check for the pwd command, you will get the home directory. This is where users save files, folders, profile information, and other details. Next, you have the libraries. In Linux or any operating system, we have a pre-compiled binary software application for system use. These libraries can be used whenever you run the commands. You have to be careful about these libraries because once you delete them, your system application program will not run. For example, when you use the cat command ldd slash bin slash cat, it will open the file and display the libraries used. Every file has a node number. If you lose this number, it will be present in the lost and found folder. In the media directory, you will have the mount point for your media. Next is the MNT or mount directory. Mount point is where you mount your devices. It may be a hard drive, CD-ROM drive, or USB flash drive. 
without mounting. You cannot use your device. To give a simple analogy. Let's consider the example of Windows. Whenever you attach any device to Windows, it assigns an extra drive with the name E drive, or G drive, or some random letter. Therefore, in Unix, mounting is similar to assigning names to devices. OPT is called an optional directory, where you can install third-party applications, like Oracle Database, SAP Database, and more. Proc directory called Proc file system has the information about the current kernel settings in effect. Root directory is a home directory for an administrator called root. Don't get confused with this root and the slash root. This root is a user and the other is a directory. Run is a temporary directory available to run some commands, particularly with the system services. Next is the super user command sbin, where the root user's command is stored. It is also called a privilege command. Then you have the SRV directory, where you will share your server information. Sys stores the system information. TAMP is a temporary file used as a scratch pad. USR directory stores the kernel header files. There indicates variable directory and stores your log files and emails. So, these are the functions of the various directories available in Ubuntu.